Hey besties, so what I'm doing today is I'm making personalized glasses for the children that are coming to my niece's birthday party. And um, I have several different mock-ups that I already did. Basically just simple, you know, I did my son's name here on this top one. I did uh, just beast mode, my niece's name, um, all different kind of mock-ups here and so I just wanted to show you several different ways you can go about this if this was something you wanted to do. A thing to note about the names. So so similar to how I did my son's name here, if you are doing a name that has five letters, like my daughter and my niece, they have five letters, that one's going to be a little bit difficult because you're you know, gonna have three letters and two letters. So you have to find a way to make that look even and good, even though it's spread out. So that was my dilemma with the five letter name. So I did the full name on one lens and then a unicorn on the other. What I did was I downloaded a pair of glasses a template from Google and I measured the glasses that I purchased from Amazon for, I measured them from lens to lens and then from top to bottom so from here to here and then here to here that came out to 5 inches by 1.6 inches so after I did that I went through and I put my images together the way that I wanted and then I measured to make sure I was within that space basically how I got it like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hide that because I don't need it. The glasses that I purchased were from Amazon. They were $13.99 for 12 glasses. It came out to about a dollar and some change per pair of glasses. So not very expensive. So now I'm going to go ahead and click make it and they're all going to come out in yeah, just like this, okay? So if you want to get it more or less how how you want it matched up, you can do so like this. Just leave a little bit of space. I kind of like my things to cut down a page instead of going across, but that's just a personal preference. Um, so you guys can, you know, set it up however you choose. So I will go ahead and click continue. Another important thing is how you set your material to cut. So I go to browse all materials. I'm going to type in here rice paper because I've tried this several times and this was the only setting that I was able to use and it didn't completely tear up the vinyl. So I'm using rice paper setting. I'm going to click done and then I will go ahead and cut. So I am going to use this small piece and I'm just going to apply it directly over the vinyl right here is my unicorn. And I'm going to take my scraper and I'm just going to apply as much pressure as I can right over it. So there is my unicorn and I'm just going to take it and stick it over the glass lens at the very top and then press down okay and then I'll take my scraper and then just smooth it out. So there is my unicorn on there. The next thing is my daughter's name, which I have to be very, very careful with. Uh, I 
forgot to get the whole part of me weeding out the name, but I weeded it. I applied my transfer tape on there, and now I'm just going to press in on there. And then just peel off. And there you go. You have your name.